Yeah, hello good people. It's yet another day, another time. As we had uh, said that before, we want to meet again. And when we meet, it's as we always do, talking about sign language. And that's our business, to make everybody, including you, you, aware that the deaf people are there, they do exist, and they have their culture and way of life. Mm -hmm. And that's why we are back here again. And before we talk, I want to appreciate you so much, so, so very much, that you have choose to come back to this channel, Sign Language Resource Center, Vika. Thank you for choosing to come in to us and listen to what we have. Also, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Subscribe and you get an opportunity to learn even more. And so what's up there today? Today we are talking about, about terms and concepts and you're going to define them. You're going to do a definition of terms and concepts as we use them in sign language. And today, I'm just going to check on just a few of them. One is hearing impairment. And when you talk of hearing impaired or hearing impairment, we are talking of generally a hearing disability. And uh, when we say somebody is hearing impaired, it means he has a challenge with the hearing sense, he has a challenge with the ability to hear. And that's when we say that somebody is hearing impaired. And when we say that, it may vary, the hearing may vary, either from mild or to profound. But I want to bring something to you, something good to you, that the deaf themselves don't like to be called hearing impaired. They don't like to be referred to as uh, HI, that they are impaired, no. They would rather you call them deaf. The other term that I wish that we check on, number two, is pre-lingual deafness. Pre-lingual deafness is deafness that occurs before somebody has acquired speech. Mm -hmm. Pre means before. Lingo is language. So when we say pre-lingo, we are saying before acquiring language. And this is usually before somebody is three years or two years there, there is a child, is a toddler. A toddler is the one who could have what we're calling pre-lingo deafness. Somebody with pre-lingo deafness may not understand speech and definitely do not hear speech. The other uh, term that I want us to check, number three, is post-lingo deafness. It's the opposite of pre-lingo. Post-lingo deafness is deafness that occurs after somebody has acquired speech. What does that mean? It means this guy, this somebody, sometimes before was hearing, but along the way, either through sickness, injury, or something happened and they lost their hearing. They can talk, but they cannot hear. They can talk to you, but if you talk back to them, they cannot hear you. That's what we're calling post ringo deafness. The next one, Mm -hmm. is what we call hard of hearing. That's number four, hard of hearing. And these are guys who have some little hearing left for them. They can hear sometimes. Yes, they can. They can. 
But for them to hear, sound must be amplified for them. I hope you got that. That these guys have some useful hearing left, which we call less jaw. Less jaw hearing. And these guys with less jaw hearing, they can only hear if sound is amplified for them. How do you amplify sound? You can use the electronic gadgets, the amplifiers. You can also use maybe the hearing aids. Sometimes you've seen guys who are uh, walking out there with something on their ears. And those could be hearing aids which amplify sound. You could also amplify sound by shouting. Mm. You shout. You raise your voice until they can be able to hear. Hmm. The other one, uh, and I think it's the last one that you're going to deal with today, is the term deaf. Deaf. And when we talk of the deaf, hmm, these are guys whose hearing loss is so profound, hmm, so deep that they cannot be able to hear speech even if sound was amplified for them. Mm. Even if you shout, they cannot be able to hear you. Those guys are the ones who are calling death. If you give them hearing aid, it can still not help them. They cannot be able to hear because their hearing ability is for a, for a totally lost. Those are guys we are calling death. But I want to say something today because we have given and I, uh, those terms and concepts and I don't intend to go to any other. Those are enough. Mm, they're enough. Hearing impaired. Pre-ring or deafness. Post-ring or deafness. Hand of hearing and death. And these terms, they refer to people who have varying disability in their hearing. But for the purposes of our practice, we do not classify them. We don't go referring to deaf people. Now, this one is pre regal death. That one is uh, post regal that one is, uh, is, uh, is hand of hearing. No. We just refer to them, all of them, using the last term that we've done today, which is death. And I want to say something, that the deaf people don't like to be referred to as hearing impaired. I hope you got that. So we refer to them as deaf. I know that would bring some issues with the social workers and other people who would like to use disability friendly term like hearing impaired. But for the deaf community, the deaf society, they would rather you call them deaf. It's not bad. It's not bad. They're called deaf. And that's it for today. And we meet next time for more. And thank you for coming to Sign Language Resource Center. Once again, thank you. Remember to subscribe if not yet. This is a resource center where you get anything that you need, you desire to learn sign language. Thank you. Bye.